to the fourth class of textiles. In this class, we are going to learn a very important concept of fabric construction. Fabric construction will give you the density of a fabric. It is defined as number of warp yarns and number of weft yarns in one square inch. Some people might call fabric construction thread count or reed pick. So you can use your pick glass to count how many number of warp yarns are there and how many number of weft yarns are there. Please do not miss any yarn while counting. Sometimes what you can do is you can count in half an inch and you can double the reading. But never count in one fourth inch because if there is an error of one yarn or two yarn when you are multiplying it the error will also be much bigger and it will also magnify. So in this class basically we are trying to learn about cotton group fabrics and in cotton group fabrics we have different yarn count fabrics. In the previous lecture we have learned the concept of yarn number and we said higher the yarn number finer is the yarn. So in this class what we have tried to do is we have tried to bring fabrics of different yarn counts to, for you to see how the fabric weight changes as the yarn becomes finer. For example if you see 90's yarn count, 90's yarn is much finer than a 20's yarn count. Can you see the difference in these two yarn counts? Also let me show you a 40's yarn number. See how the yarn becomes finer as the yarn number goes higher as you can go in cotton count. So what we want to do is we want to differentiate between these fabrics as per the yarn count and as per the reed pick. In case of 20 sheeting fabric you find that the construction of the fabric is almost a balanced construction. For example this fabric might have 56 into 60 yarns or 60 into 60 yarns which means you have 60 warp yarns which are running in the lengthwise direction and you have 60 weft yarns which are running in the widthwise direction or the crosswise direction. So this fabric has a construction of 1 is to 1. The next fabric is Oxford sheeting and Oxford sheeting has an interlacing pattern of 2 up and 1 down. You can see 2 warp yarns and you can see 1 weft yarn and this 1 weft yarn is actually twice the thickness of the warp yarn. Therefore this is in a Oxford weave. In the coming classes you are going to learn about different kinds of weaves also. So this fabric is 100% cotton. It is a 20 sheeting fabric and this has a fabric construction of 58 into 60 yarns. Similarly, one can find out what is the construction of a Oxford sheeting also by manually counting the number of the warp and the weft yarns. For example, if this is 58 yarns and the weft yarns are 60, you just need to put a multiplication sign in the center. You are not going to multiply whatever you get in warp and weft because this is just an absolute number. Next fabric is 40's cambric and if you compare a sheeting fabric and a cambric fabric you find that the yarns are much finer almost half the diameter of the 20's thickness yarn and also the yarns are closed very fatly. This fabric is also 100% cotton but the reed pick of this fabric is 92 yarns and 80 yarns in the weft. So with finer yarns you can pack much more closely more number of yarns. Let's look at a poplin fabric. A poplin fabric has 
much denser yarns in the warp direction this fabric has a construction of 124 yarns in the warp and it has got 64 yarns in the weft so a poplin fabric can be 40s it can be 50s you can have different constructions you can have 140 yarns in the warp you can have 80 yarns in the weft so poplin also comes in different qualities you can have a lower construction of 90 to 96 into 64 yarns also so if you look at the thickness of the yarn in this fabric again you find that the that the yarn is much finer therefore you can close the yarns very closely let's look at a voile fabric a voile fabric is also a transparent fabric in this fabric you also have constructions which is 92 into 80 but it is quite loosely packed it is not as dense as a poplin or not as dense as a cambric fabric so voile fabrics generally are lighter weight fabrics and they have a different end use altogether now if we if we look at today's class what we have learned is we have learned that these fabrics are all 100% cotton we said higher the yarn number finer is the yarn higher the yarn number lighter is the weight of the fabric thicker fabrics can be used for different purposes light weight fabrics will find different applications and these dense fabrics can find application for men's women's shirting materials um, for making formal shirts these fabrics are also bleached like you can see this 20 sheeting fabric bleached you can have a poplin fabric which is also bleached you can have fabrics which are unprocessed which need bleaching treatment later on they are called gray fabrics gray is a french word which means anything which exists in its natural state so these two are unprocessed fabrics they have to still go through a bleaching treatment thank you